Week five of the WBE. A win today would put us in the playoff positions. Ladies and gentlemen, it's CEO Dolph back for the London Bisharts. Let's go. Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the London Bishops for week five of the WBE. Today, we are up against Moxie Boosted. I'm going to show his team on the screen right now. Definitely a difficult matchup. I mean, every single week is some really talented players in this league. Me not being one of them. <laughs> As you can see, he's got Togepi. He's got Slow King, a really difficult trick room mode. So I'm going to have to try and stop that if I want to beat him. He's got Venusaur and Charizard. You guys know both those Pokemon together work really well in the sun. So yeah, it's a tough one today, baby. But CEO Dolph is ready and equipped for the challenge. Make sure you do go check out Moxie Boosted in the description down below. Shout out to my opponent, but let's get into the battle. Today we are up against Moxie Boosted. Randolph live in the flesh. Right now you are speaking to Nerve Dolph, but let's go baby. CEO Dolph is in the house live and direct. What's going on people? Moxie who? Moxie who? I don't even know. More like Moxie trash. I'm sorry Moxie, that's so, that's so unkind of CEO Dolph over there. I'm, I'm sorry about that, but uh, let's get into the game. Okay, we have Venusaur Charizard. Okay, we have Sloking. Hitmon top, Klefki, and Mudsdale. Okay. So I didn't prepare for that. I prepared for a I prepared for a Togepi in this one. Follow me in Togepi and that to get the treat room up. So I'm not sure what we do here then. I think we still got Deli Bird. We'll go tracking in the back. Um Deli Bird was literally on his team to stop the Togepi. So we'll see what happens game one. If it's, if it's an issue, we'll we'll go we'll revert and you know figure something else out. Uh, and who else do I bring now then? I think I still bring Slowbro just in case we do have issues with the Mudsdale. You know, other than that, I think we just go with this. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, my opponent's locked in, so I'm going to lock in as well. Dragonport, Delibird, Terrakion, and Slowbro, I think. Oh, yeah, that is what it is, man. Is what it is. I didn't prepare. Like, like I said, we were, we were hoping for like a, a Togepi lead. So my opponent's going to try and get Trick Room up. I'm not sure what my opponent's going to go for instead. Maybe a fake out on his own. Nah, he can't really go for a fake out on his own him on top because you can't fake out Dragapult. So I'm not sure really what's going to go on. Ooh, nice swag, my guy. Moxie looking fresh. Okay, Venusaur and Klefki. Okay. Okay, so here what I'm going to do, I think. Again, I haven't really prepared for this lead with my team, but I think what I want to do is I want to stop Sunny Day going up. So what I want to go for is a max airstream onto the Venusaur. Even if it protects, it's okay. Unless it's Scarfed and it puts me to sleep. But I'm going to fake out the... I'm going to fake out the Klefki so I outspeed in Sunny Day next time. I think that's what we're going to do. Even if my opponent switches out here, I think that's what I'm going to do. Surely that makes sense, right? Max Airstream into the Venusaur and then a fake out onto the Klefki to stop Sunny Day going up. Because obviously, Chlorophyll on the Venusaur, if Sunny Day does go up, Venusaur is going to outspeed me. So I need to make sure I outspeed it in Sunny Day, in Sun. So we're going to fake out the Klefki and Max Airstream. Venusaur is going to come out. That makes a lot of sense to me. Makes a lot of sense. Mudsdale's gonna come out. Okay, that's fine still. That's still fine. My opponent is gonna get that defense boost onto the onto the Mudsdale. We are probably gonna get a Thunder Wave come out next though onto the Dragapult, which is not great. Uh, maybe that's something I should have foresaw. Like obviously he switches out there, right? Obviously he does switch out, but the hmm, the tough thing here is his Venusaur beats my team. I think. Why is it so loud? I think his Venusaur beats my team if I don't have Dragapult Dynamax. That's the issue. So I think game one is already not going that great. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go for a max airstream here. Yeah, it makes sense. Now, what I want to know here is, do I reveal the weakness policy on my Dragapult turn one? Do I reveal that turn one or game one? Because what I would like to do here is just knock out the Klefki um, with a max Phantasm and go for an Ice Shard on my own Pokemon. That's what I'd like to do. What do I have in the back? Terrakion, Slowbro... I guess I need tracking for Venusaur kind of just to hit that hard. So, yeah, I think what I'll go for is I'll go for a Max Dark, Max Phantasm onto the Klefki. And I might just go for an Ice Shot on my own Dragapult to make sure I get that KO. I'm going to go for it. But I think what I should have done here, I think we're going to see a... Oh, no no Thunder Wave. Okay, no Thunder Wave coming out. This might this might have worked out here. This might have worked out. What's the Mudsdale going to do? Lash out, Rock Slide. What are we going to see on the Mudsdale here? Oh, there we go. Thunder Wave. I didn't know, I didn't know Thunder Wave would go after... Uh, yeah, after Ice Shard. And we've, and we've got a full paralysis, which sucks. That does suck. That does suck. Okay, not really... Yeah, the Mudsdale didn't do too much damage there, which is fine. Uh, we do outspeed everything, though, which is good. So my opponent is going to predict now Max Phantasm. What could he bring, though? What could he bring? He could bring a Slow King out right now, maybe. Venusaur out right now. 
I think I'm still going to go for the Phantasm. And what I think I might do, I might just Memento right now on the Mudsdale and just turn that into Mush early on. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go from Memento and a Max Darkness into the Klefki. You should get a KO on it, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. We, we Memento the Mudsdale, drop its attack by a lot. I think we're okay here. I think we're okay. I, I'm revealing a lot of things. I don't like revealing the weakness policy. I don't like revealing Memento, but sometimes you got to make sure you win game one, right? We're going to outspeed the... Okay, well, oh, I outspeed that. Interesting to know. And obviously, I think I know I'd, I know I'd do that. Deliver's gone now. Memento always does unfortunately mean you do faint. Hopefully I don't get full paralysis here. Oh, god damn it. That's annoying. That's annoying. And the lash out will KO here as well, unless we do. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate on our side. Is what it is. I'm not sure what we can do there. We got paralysis twice in a row, which sucks, but uh <laughs> I think I still made the right calls there. You know, I, yeah, I guess that just sucks, really. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. Oh, god damn it, man. God damn it. All right, we're going out with a bang. We're going out with a bang game one. Sunglasses on. See you, Dolph. Takes an L like a champ. Because he, my, my opponent still has Dynamax available. Um, what we do here is we go... We are Sash, remember? Oh, so what do we do here? The Klefki is a problem. I might have to close combat the Klefki, you know? And scold it. My, I, I, I really don't know what to do here. Thunder Wave, of course. Oh, man. This thing's so good, man. This thing's so good. God damn it. God damn it. Are you mad? Are you actually mad? Come on, that's a, that's a joke at this point. Body press, okay. Nice to know that. Yep, nice. Very nice. Are you kidding, man? Are you kidding? That is a joke, bro. <laughs> Three prices in a row. Are you mad? That's crazy. At this point here, I don't even know what to do. I guess I have to close combat the Mudsdale. Because I outspeed it. Or Sacred Sword the Mudsdale. No, I'm, I'm, I'm scoffed. <laughs> Ugh, man. Yeah, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. There's no way I'm winning this. There's no way I'm winning this round. This game, sorry. Sunny Day is going to come out. Yeah, weak in the power of Scold as well. Well played to Moxie. Very well played. I, I, feel, I do feel like those three paralysis in a row is a little bit unlucky, but it is what it is. To be fair, he did message me now saying, bro, I'm so sorry. I was T-waving for speed control. There's no problem, by the way. There's never any problem if my opponent crits me or my opponent thunderwaves me or I'm paralyzed. That's the part of the game. It's unlucky on my end, but it's not my opponent's fault. It never would be. So it is what it is. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so we do get a burn on both Pokemon, which is lucky, but there's nothing really we can do here. Um, especially because the Venusaur is going to come out as well with Chloroth... Uh, can I Trick Room here? Can I Trick Room here? I don't really want to re reveal that, do I? I don't really want to reveal that. So I guess I should go for the Klefki here. I'm not going to forfeit. I'm going to continue playing just because I feel like, you know, apparently that's what they want you to do in the WVE so you actually do get the stats onto the, the, the back end. That Muzdale's not doing anything now though because of Memento and because of the burn. To be fair, I could just, I could just forfeit realistically. Like, I'm not going to win. And what does he have? What else does he have? I haven't seen everything right. I've only seen Klefki and Venusaur and Mudsdale. Yeah, so it's like... Uh, I, okay, I feel bad for playing it out, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to anyway. Screw it. Oh, critical hit there. Oh, no. I should, okay, nice, nice. Never mind. My bad, my bad. Okay, yeah, I've lost anyway, I think. The Venusaur is just going to come through and sweep. That's why I, I could have trick room to try and... Outspeed these Pokemon and also outspeed the Venusaur when it comes in. But what am I going to do to it? I'm just going to scold it. So there's not really much I could do. If I had Psychic, then yeah. But I don't. So I don't. But it might be nice here just to reveal what else he had, you know. He's going to bring his Venusaur out now just to prove, you know, not to show his final Pokemon. Yeah, Venusaur here, as we see. Venusaur's going to outspeed us as well. So it is GG at this point. It is GG at this point. But uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to protect... So I want to see what his final Pokemon is. I want to see what his final Pokemon is. That's fair enough on my point. I, I can see what his game plan was going to be. You know, so I think that's still warranted for sure. Obviously, it is annoying that I'm stalling out, but it's for information. I want to see what his last Pokemon was. So I think that's totally fair. Okay, Musdale goes down. And his last Pokemon is going to be... His last Pokemon is going to be... Charizard. Okay, good to know. Good to know. 
Okay, we're going to go for a... Doesn't matter. At all. It doesn't matter at all. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll call it there. There we go. Game one's over. At least we found out that he's going to bring the Charizard. That's all I was doing there by stalling out. And uh, yeah, there we go. He's going to Dynamax probably the Venu now. We'll see. Or the Charizard maybe. Yeah, we're going to see a Max Overgrow. So that Venusaur is a problem. That Venusaur is a big problem for us. Um, but I do feel like, you know, without the... Without the paralysis, I do stand a better chance in game one. Especially three times in a row <laughs> on two different Pokemon. <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay. Unlucky. We'll go again and hopefully we can try and pull it back in game two. Because CEO Dolph is playing in game two, baby. The glasses are on. <laughs> oh, no, I'm crying inside. I'm no what do I do in game two, guys? What the hell do I do in game two? All right. You know what? I'm going to take a breather a little bit. Have a little bit of... I think it's good in your breaks, like between battles, to just use the time to like rethink things. You, you know, take a little bit of time. So I'm going to do that right now. And, uh, yeah, CEO Dolph is going to figure out what to do in game two. I mean, Healy, this could be good because of, you know, if the sun's up, it hits hard. It's quite fast as well. Deli Bird, was Deli Bird good? I feel like Deli Bird was good if I didn't get parried. That's the thing. My team was good if I didn't get paralyzed. Now I've revealed my weakness policy as well. I've revealed a lot of things. Screw it, man. Let's just... I think we just go for the same thing, honestly. I think we go for the same thing. That's all we can do, right? So he didn't even bring Trick Room. He didn't bring Trick Room, so I could lead with Terrakion. I could lead Terrakion and just go for it. But I think I need that fake out. Terrakion and Slowbro. I'm going to go for the same team again and just hope we play better and have a better... <laughs> and just be luckier in the second game, I guess. <sighs> See you, Dolph, baby. Where you at, bro? Let's go out with a bang, man. Like I said, we're being entertaining. This series is entertaining for the people. We've got Charizard and Klefki this time. Charizard and Klefki. Okay, Charizard and Klefki. 14 seconds. I'm just going to have to... Max Worm with the Charizard and just fake out the Klefki, right? Uh, it's such a dead move, man. It's such a dead move, Randy. Mudsdale's going to come out. Oh, so I could have just... I could have ice sharded onto the Charizard, which is what I wanted to do. Get a weakness policy up, and I didn't do that, guys. I failed to do that. But it's just I ran out of time, man. 60 seconds, 45 seconds, not long enough. Especially when you're trying to think, you're not sure what to do. So that's definitely going to let me down the time. But um, let's not be hard on myself. Let's see what happens. The shots I will KO, though, with the uh, with the Max Wormin from its own. Okay, but it doesn't even Dynamax. Okay, it doesn't even Dynamax. Let's see what we do here. Let's see how this one pans out. Beat up. Yep, we definitely saw that come in. I didn't see it coming with the Switch, but, you know, definitely saw that come in. That's fine, though. That's fine. As long as we can get into a situation where we've got Slowbro 1v1 in the Mudsdale, it's not necessarily the end of the world. So we did see beat up coming onto the Mudsdale. I just didn't think it would be a switch like that. But I guess if he is going to lead it, he, he, you know, the switch is definitely possible. So fair play. We'll see how this goes, though. Obviously, the issue is with the defense going high is the body press onto it. But it's like, you know, there you go. Charizard's gone at least. It can't hit my Dragapult with Body Press. It can only hit my Terrakion and my Slowbro. But, you know. Okay, game two. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Okay, Klefki's going to come out. So now we are going to get hit with the Paralysis again. We're going to get hit with the Paralysis again. I think we just got to try and be lucky with it, though. I think we just got to try and be lucky with it. And we just got to try and go for the Phantasm to lower defense. No, we'll go for the... No, we can't, we can't worm and do it, Randy. <laughs> you idiot. Max Phantasm onto the Klefki. And we just go for the Ice Shard for the self-proc. And we still should be faster than Mudsdale, even with Paralysis, right? Like, surely. And then get the KO on Klefki, hopefully. It depends what this Pokemon's going to do to me. Mudsdale. Can Mudsdale really, like, one-shot my Dragapult here? I don't think it can. With that, that, that defense is obviously mad. That defense is ridiculous. But I'm trying to just ignore it. And just hope that we can just whittle it down with the Slowbro when Slowbro comes in. So pretty much right now, I'm trying to end on a Slowbro versus Mudsdale situation. Whether I can get there or not, I don't know. But I'm trying to think ahead to that. Ice Shard, yep, into the Dragapult. Self-proc to get the KO onto the Klefki if we don't get fully parried. And if Mudsdale doesn't KO us before... Okay, Mr. Train's coming out. Okay. Interesting. Go for Phantasm. Looks like the KO there, which is nice. That's very nice. Critical hit as well. Obviously, sorry to my opponent. If that mattered, it, it may not have. It may have whatever it is, is what it is. It's just, it, that, that's, that's Pokemon at the end of the day. Max Quake. We should survive this. We should survive this. 
Yeah, we survived this. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, nice. Special defense becoming super high against this slow bro. That could be good for my opponent. We've got Charizard down now. We've got Klefki down. Venusaur's up next. This is looking okay for us. I can't even lie. It's looking okay for us. I mean, I've still got two Pokemon in the back. I might even go for a... I might even go for an Ash onto the Venusaur here. Just to, in case it's got a Sash. I haven't seen any Pokemon with a Sash yet. It could have a Sash on the Venusaur. So I might go for an Ice Shard. It could protect. My opponent could protect here. Which would be very good for my opponent. But what do I do about that? What, what, what do I do with, with him protecting? You know, I don't know. Ice Shard, yep. Yeah, just to make sure if my opponent has got the uh, the Sash. That it, we do break that Sash. We're going to go first. We're going to get the Knockout onto the Venusaur as well. Which is nice. We might have Game 2, baby. Glasses are on. Come on, guys. Let's go. CEO Dolph in the cut. Come on. Critical hit. Again, sorry for that. But there's no way that we survived that anyway. Um... Okay, so if we don't see a max darkness onto the Dragapult, my opponent may not even have it on the Mudsdale. And at this point here, it's just about whittling it down and just making sure it can't survive and it can't do anything against us, really. So I survived this once more. So what I'm going to go for here is I'm going to go for a... Wait, do I have one more turn of Dynamax? No, I don't, do I? I actually, yeah, I'm going to go back to normal now. I think. Yeah, I'm going to go back to normal now. Uh, so, see you, Adolf. Heavy thoughts. I go for a Memento onto it, right? And I go for a Dragon Darts. Now, Dragon, Dragon Darts will up, increase its defense by two, so I don't really want to do that. Uh, I could just Phantom Force it. Or I could Sucker Punch it. I am plus two still in my attack, so I could Phantom Force, actually. And then Memento. The Mudsdale. That'd be pretty nice, I think. Just whittle its attack all the way down. Bring in Slow Bro and just start hitting it. Or do I bring Tracking in first? Hmm. Memento. There we go. There we go. Delibird's gone. This could be a risk now because this Delibird, this Mudsdale is like super defensive right now. Max Quake's gonna hit nothing. My opponent will now lose his Dynamax, I think. We'll go slow, bro. We'll go slow, bro. I think I survive anyway, unless he goes for a body press. But he can't go for, he can't go for a body press right now. He's Dynamaxed, but now he's not. <laughs> Oop. Now he's not. So I think here we just go for a Scold and Phantom Force. Surely. Surely just Scold and Phantom Force. This should do quite a bit as well. Even though its defense is super high, it still did a decent amount, I think. Stamina defense is going to raise even more. Muzdale's a problem, man. This is a tough Pokemon to come up against. What do you press onto the Slowpoke? Slowbro. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Perfect. Lovely. Lovely. Nice. Burn it. Burn it. Stamina. Oh, man. Its defense is unreal. It's too powerful. It's too powerful. But I've got leftovers on my slow bro. I do have slack off, which I'm not going to reveal if I can help it. So I'm just going to keep scolding it. And I'm going to keep... I might sucker punch now. Oh, wait. Surely its defense can't go any higher, right? Info. Yeah, its defense can't go any higher. So I can... Dra I, can I think I can Dragon Darts here. Just safety. And scold again. Let's see. Dragon Darts. That's a critical hit. Yeah. Sorry for the crit again. Yeah, that, that sucks. Body press onto the slow bro. Maybe he gets a crit. No crit. We come through with the scold. And CEO Dolph takes game two, baby. Come on. It's going down to the final battle. Game three. Can see another critical hit. Sorry. Can CEO Dolph come through with a W? Find out next time on... Well, find out in like two minutes, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. 1-1, uh, baby. Let's go. I mean, Delibird has been quite clutch, I'm thinking. Delibird has been really good. So do I bring Delibird again? Or do I go straight for Terrakia on turn one? And just start rock sliding the Charizard? I think I think he's realized Mudsdale can't do anything against my slow bro. So I'm trying to think what else he does here. I think I have to lead the same Pokemon again, man. I think I have to lead the same. I honestly do. I really do think that. Because even game one, I was confident, if not for the paralysis. So, yo, CEO Dolph says YOLO, man. CEO Dolph says Y-O-L-O. -O, you only live once. Come on, baby. Let's go. I really think Trachyon, like, leading will be useful for us. But it's like, at the end of the day, like, I've still got Trachyon. I'm still taking it. It's got a scarf in it as well. So, it still should outspeed pretty much everything. So, I don't know, man. Let's wait for my opponent to stand by. There he is. Dragonport, Delibird, Trachyon, and Slowbro. Let's do the same thing again, man. Let's go for it. Game three. CEO Dolph. Eh. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, it's so nerve-wracking. I don't think you guys understand, like, how nervous I am. It's just because, like, I don't mind about losing. It's just that my team helped me a lot. They put a lot of time and effort in, you know, to help me. It's like, I don't want to waste their time. 
just to lose. <laughs> Klefki and Muzdel. Okay, so we're going to see Muzdel from the from game one here. We're going to see Muzdel from game one. He might try and get rid of my uh, Delibird straight away, you know. He might just try and get rid of my Delibird straight away. Do I go for Max Darkness? I think I do Dynamax my Dragapult still, right? I have to. Ignore the... Ignore the Muzdel again, but like if if he does knock out my Deadly Bird, I'm kind of screwed here, which I, th which I think he might do. So I might go for Max Phantasm onto the Klefki, and I might honestly just go for a Fake Out onto the Klefki too. Or do I Ice Shot my Dragapult from turn one and just start going mad? I might, I might do that because it's only going to para para paralyze me the next game, right? It's just going to paralyze me the next game. He may switch the Klefki out anyway. No, he doesn't switch the Klefki out. Whoa, what have I done? What have I done there? I didn't think that through enough. I just started clicking buttons. Did I even Ice Shot Dragapult? I think I did. I, I I don't know, guys. It just doesn't matter. What what is life? Life doesn't matter. Life is just a pigment of our imagination, anyway. What is life? Who knows what life is? Randy, shush. Okay, calm down, Randy. Let's see what happens. No panicking. Play the damn game, man. I shard straight away onto it. Okay. I think we're gonna see we're gonna see like a rock slide or something into the Delibird. I think he's gonna try and kill Delibird straight away. That's what I think his goal is. Oh no, Thunder Wave. Klefki gone. That could be useful. That could be big for us. What's the Muzdale going to do? What's the Muzdale going to do? Lash out. Nice. There's a lot to me. There's a lot. See, I didn't need to activate my weakness policy, but I think I did to get rid of the Klefki. The question is now, what's Muzdale going to do? Like, Charizard's going to come out. Now, I don't think Charizard survives. Charizard doesn't survive here. I'm going to go from Max Phantom into the Charizard again. And I'm going to go for a Memento into the Mudsdell. I think I have to make sure that Mudsdell can't do nothing to me. I have to make sure that. So we're going to go for this. We're going to go for this. Max Darkness into Charizard. Even if it Dynamaxes, I think I've got a 50% chance of KO in it. If it's not got HP. If it's got HP EVs, I'm looking at my calcs over here, then we do not get the KO. But we'll see what happens. We do have the Trekking still. If I can get that Memento onto the Mudsdell, that's nice. We're going to see a Dynamax here onto the... I'm guessing Charizard, but he may go Mudsdell. He may go Mudsdell here. What ball is that? I didn't notice. What ball is that? Yeah, Charizard. Here he goes. Here he goes. Let's see here. Let's see. This is a big turn. This is probably the biggest turn of the entire match so far. If I get this KO on Charizard, I think I'm going to be all right, I think. We do have the Venusaur coming out, I think. We do get a KO on Charizard. That's huge for us. That is huge. Let's see what this Muzdel can do. Let's see what this Muzdel can do. To be fair, Mudsdell is minus two now defense as well. So if I do survive and I bring my Dragapult in, or my Traction in, I still could just hit that hard maybe. Memento onto that, yep. Now I've got a Venusaur coming in next. I've got a Venusaur coming in next against a Terrakion and a Slowbro. So we may struggle against that matchup. We might have to guarantee a flinch, you know. That does get the KO, unfortunately. That does get the KO, unfortunately, with a critical hit. That doesn't matter. I don't, I, I, minus two. I think it still would have. I think it still would have got it. So we got a body press potential on the Mudsdale and onto the Venusaur as well. Okay, we got Trachyon and Venusaur. Okay, Trachyon's faster. Venusaur's then next fast, and it's slow, bro. Oh my god. Uh, I think we close combat to Venu. And we go for a Scold Woodsdale? I don't know, man. I don't know. I should have gone for Rock Slide Flinch, man. I should have gone for Rock Slide Flinch. Yeah, that sucks, Randy. Why have you done that? Why have you close combat at it? No! Frenzy Plant. I avoided the attack. I avoided the attack. Does Track and live this? No way it does, right? It does live this. It does live this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it does live this. It does live this. Oh my gosh, it does live this. That miss is important. I have to go for another close combat because I am scarfed. I go for a protect on the slow bro, I think now. And just hope my opponent doesn't target the Terrakion next turn. Or gets the KO with the defense boosted body press. So we go for a protect here. Oh my gosh, this is so close, man. CEO Dolph, live and direct. Come on, we do what we do, baby. I should have gone rock slide, but we're going for it anyway. Close combat onto the Venusaur. Get a critical hit. No, no critical hit. Please go into the slow bro here, Venusaur. Please go into the slow bro here. Don't target the Trachyon. Do not target the Trachyon. Do not target the Trachyon. Oh my god, yes. Do not KO with body press. It's gonna be, it's gonna KO because I lost, I, lost, I lost defense. Yeah, of course, because I lost defense, man. I lost defense. 
Oh, shame. Shame, 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 shame. I should have gone for Rock Slide, flinched there. That was my mistake. Rock Slide will... I shouldn't have gone for close combat, man. Why did I think I could? that could work? Why did I think that could work, man? I just don't know. Um... Yeah, rip. I've lost this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, if this if this actually KOs the Venusaur, I'm so sorry. Yo, I think I've won, man. I think I've won, but not like this. Yo, Moxie, if you're watching this, bro, I'm so sorry. If I do win because of this, I'm sorry, man. Those misses are unfortunate, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, this feels... This, if I do win now, this feels, this feels bad. This feels bad. Uh, we're going to go for a Scald now. We, we, just have to, we have to just keep Scalding it. And we've got Slack off to raise our HP, but we've, we've pretty much won here. This gets a critical hit. No. I think we've won. I mean, I made Trick Room here just to make sure we go first. Slack off will be important if we go first. Is that a critical hit? No. Stamina's gone up again. Do I have Trick Room here or do I just go for the... Yeah, with the leftovers, I think I can just go for a Scald here and I win the game. But that's so unfortunate, man. I'm not going to celebrate that at all. I should have I should have lost there. Honestly, I should have lost. My opponent should have won. Lash out again. I think he's going to get a critical hit, though. Nah, no critical hit. Yeah, we take the game there, unfortunately. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to win, obviously. CEO Dolphin, all that. Woo-woo. But, like, he literally missed two Frenzy plans. And without, without missing those two, he would have won, man. He would have won. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. But, yo, Moxie, great game, man. Awesome team that you had. Uh, you should have won that. I'm sorry that I won, uh, but great game anyway. I know we're going to do a voice chat on your channel right now, so I'll speak to you in a minute anyway. Actually, I think I'm going to chat to Moxie on camera, so let's let's see. Yo, hey, man, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Bro, I'm so sorry for those misses, man. It's it's all good. I got pretty lucky game one with the paralysis. True. I was, uh, I was so disappointed because I had like a 90% chance to win twice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Unlucky, man. Well, with, with, a, with a calc or with just the... Without missing, it was just without missing because uh, frenzy plants at ninety percent. Ninety, so. yeah, that's bro, that's that's yeah. I'm 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 honestly I'm really sorry. Like I can't, I can't celebrate this win. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just that sucks. That really does. I was suck. I was dying in my chair. I was literally like because because the first frenzy plant I went for, I was like, okay, there is no way this slow bros calc to eat modest life or frenzy plant. No way, yeah, no uh, way. Because the, the entire point of the frenzy plant was to ensure I KO Dynamax Terrakion. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, because 150 base power max overgrowth always one shots um, 4 HP Dynamax Terrakion, right? Okay, yeah, sure. So I was like, if it were Leaf Storm, I would have been concerned because it's the same accuracy for less power and decreasing oh, power. Oh man, that. yeah. So I was like, I was like, we got this. We should have like one or two opportunities to click this move. So as soon as I missed it that first time, and then you didn't KO the the Venusaur, I was yeah. like, this is possible. This is possible. Yeah. So uh, I missed. I think I, I should have gone for the rock slide there. You know, I don't know why I didn't. I was thinking I either flinch or I go for a close combat, and I was just hoping that close combat would do enough to just I don't know could cause Venusaur issues, but it didn't. So I was like in my hands thinking, oh, I should have gone rock slide, try for the flinch. It would have done more damage anyway. But then, yeah, then obviously the the, the first miss happened, and I was like, okay, I'll protect this turn. Hopefully you go for the slow row again, and then maybe I can get lucky with the critical hit. That didn't happen, <laughs> and then I got lucky with the miss, man. So it's just a, it's ridiculous. Like I, I I'm not like upset with you. I was only just like, well, it was out of his control and it was out of mine. It was exactly. Just yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll be talking to you soon, man. All right, uh, take care, nice man. Night. There we go, guys. CEO Dolph comes through with the win for week five of the WBE. There have been a couple of shaky games in this league so far, but right now we've played five, won three, lost two, which means we are actually in the playoff positions. Hopefully we can keep this up. There are five more weeks in the WBE. We are exactly halfway there. And you know what? I'm feeling good, man. My team's good. My backroom team's good. The people helping me build the teams and, and actually play. Shout out to you guys. You guys know who you are. I appreciate you all so much. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back every Sunday with some more WBE and competitive Pokemon content. Tomorrow is going to be the next episode of my Nuzlocke and then the rest of the days throughout the week will be more pack openings etc. We've got so much content coming on the Randolph Pokemon channel. Make sure you subscribe with the notifications turned on. We're going to do some big things on here uh, and yeah guys see you tomorrow. For now though take care.